Hello friends, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to um, have a review of the new update that we have on an app called My Steady Life. Well, it's basically an app that helps students to be able to handle their daily activities uh, campus. So if it's new to you or you haven't heard of it before, um, I did a walkthrough on the app some time back and then I'll recommend the video in the comment section. We can check it out so in this video we are going to talk about the good the body of this update that has been created and so first of all what we have to do is to try to uh, migrate our data from the old version to the new one because the app doesn't do that for you automatically and the, I, I believe it's because they are using a new model or a new way of uh, let me say handling your data so that's what's causing the issue so the first thing you need to do is to um, go to their web page on your pc and once you get there you try signing in you sign in with the old version that you have there And then after you sign in, you try to export your data, the data that you have out there. In case you run into an issue where um, you get this error, what you can do is to um, go back to the previous page and then right click on the page and select inspect. Let me say the pop up that appears, you go to the storage section and try to delete the storage data that's there so once you finish deleting that you can log out of the app and then try signing back in after which you should be able to export your data so once you have the data exported um, you can move on to the next section you can log out of this version and then sign back into the newer version Now when you get into the new version, you need to select uh, data import and then you give the location to where the file was downloaded to and allow the system to do what it's meant to do. So now that we have everything set up, we can go back onto our phone. Just in case you haven't um, updated the app in a while, try to do that. And once you have that done, you can um, sign in with the email account you were using to access it on your web browser. Then you should have all your data um, appearing. So if you should go to the subject um, section, you will notice that all the subjects that you had there at first should still be there. Just that I realized that they had some form of dummy subjects or dummy data that they placed there. Um, you have maths, English, physics, all those things, which I never please there. I think it's just new data that they placed in the new version of the app, so you can delete those ones. Alright, so once we have all the subjects and everything uploaded, the basic setup is similar to the previous version. Now, um, once we, we are done with this, um i've realized that we have light board and dark board on the new version but with the dark board i have to pay for a premium to be able to use the dark board i haven't heard of such uh, a scenario before well maybe they are trying to be the first to do that um i want us to talk a bit on the premium version of the app because i realized that um it seems that is the reason why they have a new version, right? So I decided to try a free version of the premium um, app. And one thing I realized was I was able to turn on the dark mode and this is how it looks. I don't know if this will be a reason why you want to pay for a paid subscription. You also have the option of um, importing your school timetable using AI wizard, right? So what it means is that when you have your school timetable, let's say the 
timetable for the whole week in one picture. You can allow the AI or model to be able to scan that and then automatically create the information on the app for you. Now I tried it with um, three different timetables and it wasn't that accurate. You will not get 100% accuracy, right? So what I realized was that in some scenarios, if I had class from let's say 10 to 12, in the app it will show us let's say from 10 to 11.30 or even maybe 10 to 1, right? And um, also there are times that I didn't have a class at all, but it created a class for me and provided a date for it. Yeah. So I advise that even if you want to use the AI wizard um, after he has generated the information for you, make sure you go through the timetable to make sure that everything is represented in a way that um, you would like it to be. They brought about this feature called the focus timer. It's just a way to allow you to um, steady while you time yourself. So maybe you could steady for probably um, 30 minutes and go on a small break and come back. Now the disadvantages or one thing I don't like about the app is the fact that you need to manually migrate your data from the old version to the new one. Now another thing that I feel it's not the best in this app is the fact that you have a lot of bloatware on the app. And so for instance, when you try I'm scrolling through the subjects that you have so that let's say you go out or delete some subjects you see that the app begins to freeze because it has to load the profile pics that each subject has it slows down the app in fact there are times that the app had to crash basically these are the new changes that you have in the app besides advantages and disadvantages as I tried using it. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think about the new um, updates that they have provided? Is it going to be beneficial to you or you would like some new um, form of recommendation for you? Thank you for watching. Um, make sure you subscribe and then see you in the next video.